All right, welcome back to Self Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now, today's topic is all about motivation and specifically, can you improve motivation through food? Now, we know that motivation can be the difference between success and failure in so many things in life going on. But the hardest thing is becoming and staying motivated. And the question is, what can we do when it comes to how we eat to try to improve that? So in a new study, researchers were looking at an area of the brain called the nucleus accumbens. This is a really important part of the brain that's involved in functions such as reward, reinforcement, aversion, and of course, motivation going on. And what happens in our body is, is when we're exposed to stress or other thing, we can actually create all sorts of sort of waste products, which we call oxidative species in the brain. And there are certain antioxidants that fight that. One of them is glutathione. So in this particular study, what they wanted to see was what is the role of glutathione when it comes to the nucleus accumbens and more importantly to motivation. Now, a little background on glutathione. So glutathione is made up of three amino acids. It's glutamine, glycine, and cysteine. And glutathione's main job is it lowers oxidative stress, so helps you to prevent against a lot of chronic diseases going on. So using proton magnetic resonance spectroscopy, what the researchers saw was that in animal models, that there were higher levels of glutathione in rats that were basically performing better on motivation-related tests going on. And then they were like, well, okay, that sounds good. But that only reveals correlation. It says nothing about causation. So let's look at causation. So the next step they did was they actually gave micro injections of a glutathione blocker to rats. And when they did that, essentially they were reducing the level of glutathione in the nucleus accumbens. They found that the rats showed less motivation. They did worse in any task that was really reward incentivized or that involved any sort of motivation going on there. Then they did the opposite experiment. This time they gave the precursor of glutathione, which is N-acetylcysteine. And the question was, because N-acetylcysteine will increase glutathione, what happens to rats' performance on motivation-related tasks? And as expected, they did much better when they were given N-acetylcysteine. So stepping away from the animal models, what does that mean for us? Well, if we know that the nucleus accumbens is involved in motivation and glutathione can play a big role in it, how can we increase glutathione through food? That's simple. We want to increase N-acetylcysteine in the body and we can do it by increasing protein-rich foods that are high in cysteine going on. So if you're somebody who's plant-based and wondering how do I do that, well, foods such as whole grains, lentils, um, sunflower seeds, all are good sources of cysteine going on. And if you're somebody who eats animal products, then chicken, egg, fish, beef, even low-fat yogurt all contain cysteine and that can help you. At the end of the day, moving away from processed foods more towards whole foods is the ideal thing that you can do. And if that allows you to increase cysteine, which then leads to better glutathione, that could actually translate into better motivation. As always, thanks so much for watching this video. If you got any questions, I would love to hear them in the comments below. And if you got topics you'd like me to talk about, just let me know and I'll be sure to address them next time. Thank you.